Hello everyone, this is Jeremy McDermott, NH6Z, Systems Engineer with Northwest Digital Radio again. And I thought I would do a quick presentation on using some of the tools, graphically at least, for people that uh, don't like the command line, to try and uh, administer the daemon version of DSTAR Repeater. Now the daemon version of DSTAR Repeater runs in the background on the system and presents no GUI, so there's nothing you can really look at to see if it's run and monitor it and everything like that and I know that makes uh, a lot of people uneasy but it's definitely the preferred way to run the program because it doesn't require that anybody's logged into a graphical console or anything like that or that the graphics is even running it doesn't require auto logins or anything like that um, and it runs in the background like a, uh, a persistent process like that is supposed to like a web server or something like that it's a service not a user land program so um, running it as the daemon piece is, is definitely preferable but there's uh, unless you know the command line really well then uh, the opportunities for monitoring that aren't really uh, something that a lot of people are comfortable with so I'm going to show you a couple things that can allow you to monitor your D star repeater running in daemon mode a little bit better if you are uh, uncomfortable with the command line so the first one is a program called Glog, and we're going to go ahead and install that to start out with. So we'll go to Preferences, Add Remove Software, and Glog, we'll search for that. It's G-L-O-G-G. -G and we'll wait for it a minute to figure out what it's going to do. So you'll see it's the Smart Interactive Log Explorer using QT4. So we'll go ahead and check that and hit apply to make it install it. And it will require your password to install stuff. And as a reminder, if you're running in default configuration and haven't changed your password, it is Raspberry. We do recommend that you change that as soon as you uh, get onto the system. So we now have Glog installed. We're going to go ahead and quit out of the package installer. And Glog will show up in the menu under accessories right here as Glog. And we can open that up. And what we're going to do is hit open. And we will go to file system in, in here. And the file that we're interested in is the D star repeater log, which is in var slash var log. So log is here. Open DV because D star repeater is part of the open DV package. And in here you'll see that we have D star repeater D underscore one dot log. That is the log for the D star repeater D where it logs everything that's going to do. I'm going to double click on this and Glog will open that up. And you'll see all of the log entries that I have in here from all of my, uh, the, all of when the, the daemon has been running. The other thing that you uh, would like to do is go to view and hit follow file. And that means that whenever anything's added to the log, uh, then it's going to go ahead and refresh the display and show you what's going on. So in here you can see interesting things like when the, uh, the repeater started, it started its threads and things like that. And uh, you also see that when it's receiving and transmitting uh, uh, packets or uh, uh, transmissions on the repeater. So for example, I have my ID51 here in my hand, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the transmit key, and you will see that it just came up with a radio header decoded NH6Z slash ID51 down there, which means it's receiving a transmission, and the transmitting to that's showing you that it's repeating it out the other side. When I let go of the transmit key, 
it will say that uh, it'll give you a summary saying that this transmission was 13 seconds long with 0% silence because it heard me yammering. And uh, the transmitting to uh, is the uh, acknowledgement for that transmission that it transmits back out. So you can actually look at your repeater and see who's transmitting and receiving and make sure that the repeater thinks that it's seeing stuff by looking at the log files. Up here you can also see where it's done its beaconing beforehand, um, in, uh, before we got to it here, um, where it does the, uh, the beacon pieces in there. So this is a good way to monitor your repeater and uh, make sure you're getting transmissions in and uh, when you're testing it you can uh, check out that log. So this is called Glog. And again, you will install it via the uh, installation manager, and then it will show up in uh, menu, accessories, clog. The other cool thing is if you go up to file, notice that it's restored, that uh, it's remembered that I like dstar repeater d dot log. So that means that you don't have to go through that whole open thing every time uh, when you go to it. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down there and leave it open. The other interesting uh, piece of software that you may like to have um, is uh, the systemd user interface components. And we will install those by going to preferences, add remove software. And that package is named systemd-ui, so we'll go ahead and search for it here. And there it is, right here, the systemd-ui package. So we're going to go ahead and check that guy and apply to get it installed. And of course, it's going to want my password. and it's installed so we'll quit out of here and it shows up in preferences under this system ADM command now there's a trick here in that right now that system ADM command will only run as the Pi user so you can't do some of the things that you would really like to do with this thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the main menu editor here to fix that up a little bit for you and if you click on preferences in main menu editor We're going to go find that system control program, which is in, preference, uh, is in preferences, and system ADM in here. We can get the properties for that, and down here under the command it executes, notice it just says system ADM. We're going to make that so that it runs at root by appending sudo minus capital E space to that. So it's sudo space minus capital E space system ADM is what we are replacing that out with. And that will mean that uh, it will try and run system ADM as root uh, rather than as the uh, Pi user. And that allows you to, uh, that allows you to uh, do some things that you wouldn't normally be able to do. We're going to hit the OK key and hit OK into here. And then we can go into the menu here and launch system ADM again. And it'll come up with this system manager. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of uh, things that are loaded in here. I'm going to resize some of this stuff so it's more conveniently sized. If I go up here to all unit types and select services instead of all unit types, I'll see all the services that are running on the system. And what I'm going to scroll down to find, and unfortunately this thing doesn't seem to have a search field that you can do with it, um, but we'll go ahead and scroll down in here and we're looking for the D star repeater at one service, which should be down in here. There it is. So there's D star repeater at one. I can select that and notice it says it's loaded and active and running. That means your service is, your repeater is up and ready to go um, and that it's running. Down here in the details window, you can see it's all green and it says that it's running. 
So one of the things that we can do here is say you want to do maintenance on your repeater uh, and you want to stop that service so the DSTAR repeater doesn't run anymore. You can hit the stop service here and it will go and stop DSTAR repeater for you. And you can see that when we go back onto it, it says that it's dead now. Looks like this, uh, uh, this isn't refreshing uh, really well. But you can see that it's dead because we've stopped it. I can start it back up. And notice when I start it back up, the reason why I left Glog open is that you see that it says opens here and all of the start things that are going on to show you that DSTAR repeater is now started. And you notice when I go back over here, it starts out green and starts running again. The other thing you can do with it is if you have some sort of problem with the daemon and it seems to be locked up or something like that and you want to restart it or maybe you uh, reconfigured it um, uh, and with the configuration script and want it to look at that configuration again, uh, you can hit the restart button and it will restart it. And again, you'll see all the uh, stuff that happens in uh, Glog when you restart it and make sure that it's all going again. And again, when I hit the uh, button on my ID 51, then I will get the headers decoded and I will see that the repeater is now running. So those are a couple tools that you guys can use to manage your system when you are looking at a daemon-based system rather than running the uh, GUI app, which uh, has its own uh, host of uh, set of problems. So hopefully this makes it easier for you guys to monitor it and uh, have it ready to go. And uh, hopefully it's helpful. Again, uh, you can get support on our email list at uh, groups.io. Um, and uh, good luck.